Hi, I'm Matt Eland. I'm an instructor at Tech Elevator, and I want to share with you some of my favorite tips for navigating around in Visual Studio when working with C Sharp code. So Visual Studio is a really complex product that's been around for a couple decades, and it keeps evolving and growing. Um, and, but you can work with a lot of complex code with it, and as you build larger and larger applications, you often find yourself working with a lot of different files and needing to navigate around in different files at once. Um, so Visual Studio offers a tabbed interface to let you work with multiple files and switch quickly between them. So right now I have my program.cs file uh, is open in this, this tab over here. Um, but if I want to, to take a look at another tab, uh, another file, I can actually click on it over here. So for example, if I click on Bug Manager, it opens a preview tab over here in my upper right. Uh, and if I click on another file, that bugmanager.cs tab, that goes away. If I want it to stay put, I can click on this little keep tab open thing. And now if I navigate somewhere else, um, I can always go back to my bug manager and then switch back to program.cs. Additionally, if I know I want to open a, a tab up permanently instead of just keep, keeping a preview open, I can double click on it instead of single clicking on it. And then that will open it up as a permanent thing. Uh, but the, the ability to just glance into a file and move around from file to file uh, can be helpful as well. So these these preview feature these preview tabs are actually a feature, um, but it can be confusing when you're getting used to Visual Studio as to how to to work with all these different tabs, etc. Um, but being able to move back and forth between different tabs uh, is going to help you out a lot when you're working with larger and larger programs. Another thing that will help you out um, is learning some of the shortcuts. So you can actually hold down the control key on your keyboard and then mouse over something. And if, if it's something that you can navigate to, uh, it'll underline and turn blue. So here I'm going to click, control click on user interface and it actually takes me to where I define my class. And I can control click on different methods or even variables and it'll take me exactly to where that, that was defined. Uh, so if I wanted to get to the load bugs method here in this, this example code, uh, I can control click on it and it'll take me exactly to the right file and the right uh, area. If I want to see where this uh, add bug method is, I can control click on it. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, you have to be careful with this though because you can actually wind up in Microsoft's code if you hit control and click on something that uh, uh, that Microsoft defined and not you. So for example, list is a class that's built into the .NET, uh, uh, kind of the core, core of .NET. Um, and so if I control click it, it'll actually take me into some of Microsoft's code and this can be very confusing very quickly. So if you find yourself in a situation like this, just close the tab and you'll be fine. We'll take you back to wherever you last were and uh, you'll get unstuck. <laughs> so that, that's, a, that's a helpful tip, tip there. Um, some other things that are helpful, if you're working in a, a a class or a file that has a lot of methods in, its, in it, it can be helpful to use this little navigation thing up here in the upper right. And from there you can select whatever method you care about uh, and you can navigate to it. It doesn't even have to be a method, it could be a property or a field or class variable. Um, it just lets you navigate around and see what's in the current file that you're in. Uh, so that's really cool. If you're not sure what file you even need to be in to begin with, um, it can be helpful to use the little search feature in the upper in the top middle of the Visual Studio interface. So if you click on this, you can just type in whatever you're interested in. So for example, if I want to find my uh, feature class here, I type in feature, and there's a whole lot of results here. Um, but let's say I know that I I'm looking for code. So instead of clicking all, I'm going to click on code, and now it's only going to show me results from my own code. It's like a really fancy search thing. And I can take me, it, this can take me to the, the file named feature.cs, uh, cs is C-sharp, or a class named feature, or a method named feature, which would be a constructor probably in the feature class. Um, but if I click on one of them, it'll take me exactly to that file, uh, which is really cool. Another cool thing uh, in Visual Studio is I, I can see who's calling various methods. Um, so I know that a, some of my code is using this this constructor here because I see this two references and I can click on it and it'll list all the files that are uh, actually using it. And so I can go over here to uh, let's say a user interface.cs and I can find the exact piece of code that's uh, creating that. 
So that's really cool. It can also tell you what methods are and aren't being um, used. Uh, one thing to note is that sometimes as you scroll around, it can be a little uh, lazy. It can show up a little bit later, so it can take a minute or two for it to figure out what's going on. Um, depending on what you have tests for, you'll also find little references to what tests you have that are passing or failing. Uh, right now all my tests are passing, but uh, it can tell me exactly what tests call my method. It doesn't mean that the, that the test uh, is explicitly testing what the method does, but the test at least goes to my method. And I can double click on any one of these and it takes it right to my, uh, my unit test. Uh, and again, if I don't want to be there, I can just close that tab. It'll take me back to where I was. Um, so that's really, really cool. Uh, a lot of really nice ways of navigating around in Visual Studio. Um, there's a ton of features, way too many to talk about even in a, a long video, let alone a short one. Uh, but I really like Visual Studio. I hope this helps you understand a little bit more about the features that it offers. And uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. But uh, uh, happy coding and uh, good luck.